There, we got him. There. Always adds an element of excitement when you got two lines down. You mark fish, you don't know what, what, all oh, the fish is going to hit. There. You know, there are so many, get that spoon out of there. There are so many wallies just like this out of the body water that we're on today. We're on Red Lake, and you look at Red Lake, a massive body of water. And what makes Red Lake so unique is a very shallow lake for the most part, at least on upper Red Lake where we can fish. And there's hardly any structure. In fact, the structure is so subtle. In fact, in a lot of cases, the structure is on top of the ice where these fish will gravitate towards pressure ridges and big snow patches. But this lake is so full of walleyes, walleyes just like this. There we go. Walleyes on Upper Red Lake can typically be found roaming a specific depth range off the gradually sloping shoreline contours. As winter progresses, fish often transition further from the shoreline. Because of such little structure to hold fish, these fish are often very nomadic. It's just a classic, classic one-two punch. I'm jigging with one rod, and I've, I've got a dead stick next to me with, with a minnow. And, and there's the old saying, big moves find fish, small moves catch fish. You know, these big moves are so important out here, you know, there's just, you know, these fish are just swimming around this abyss. And it's just a matter of trying to get in the get in that zone where there's some activity and and once you start marking fish, especially once you start marking some fish and catching the right size of fish that you're looking for, it's just a matter of hanging tight and trying to pull in as many fish that are swimming nearby you as you can. That's why the, the combination of jigging rod and dead stick rod are so effective. You know, you're pulling them in with one rod. If they don't hit this rod, they'll hit that dead stick. But it's just a matter of trying to, we're basically running traffic. We're trying to, trying to get as many fish underneath us as we can. Just by hunkering down in these key locations. From our base camp in Devil's Lake, North Dakota, we travel the whole Midwest looking for the best fishing bites. If you like real-time fish reports, find out what bodies of water that we're fishing just to find the general patterns and techniques that we're using, give us a like on Facebook and hit the road with Jason Mitchell Outdoors. come in they are just scrappy oh yeah look at there I can't even see that lure that fish just oh is that cool come on there look at that you know Red Lake is probably one of the best one of the best fisheries around for just catching numbers of fish but there's some pretty decent fish in here too you know, you'll see fish up to 25 inches, but you know, it's, it's a fishery right now where you can come out here and realistically, you know, a lot of cases catch 50 fish a day. A lot of them are gonna be that, you know, 13 to 18 inch range, but you're gonna get a few kickers too. And, and you know, the thing is just, it's just so much action. I mean, you're gonna have fish on the screen all the time when you find that right zone. Nice fish. All right, that was a dandy. You know what we're doing here is, you know, after dark on Red Lake, glow red, glow orange, uh, gold can be a really good color too during the day, but you know, it's dark outside. And the neat thing about Red Lake is you can catch walleyes all day long, you can catch them all night long. The action can never stop. But one thing I've been doing though is I've been just charging this up a little bit here. Charging it up from time to time. And after dark especially, those glow, glow color patterns can really kick in. You know, what's also interesting is, you know, during the day, first got set up, I was getting a lot more action on the dead rod. Now that it's gotten dark, they're coming in and hitting the jigging rod more so. But that can change back and forth. You'll get a flurry of fish where Every one of them hits a jigging rod. Sometimes they hit both rods. Then you'll get a few come through that don't want to touch the jigging rod and they hit the dead rod. So it's nice to give those fish two different options like this. There. The dead rod strikes. <laughs> oh yeah, look at there. Here it comes. There, just a perfect eater. And show you what I'm doing here. 
just have a buckshot rattle spoon and I replace the treble hook. I take the treble hook off and I put just a long shank hook, but that way when a fish hits that minnow, it can pivot towards the fish, but the weight of that spoon keeps that minnow from going anywhere. So just a nice, nice technique for dead sticking. You know, one thing I like to do with, with dead rods is, you see that's just a buckshot rattle spoon. It's got a long shank hook on it. And basically I like to nick this minnow right behind the head, go right through the hide, right behind the gill, just like that. And that minnow can really, really roll on the hook. But the other thing I like about it is usually that, usually these walleyes and perch will grab the minnow out the head. And then that way you've got, you've got the hook somewhere near the fish's mouth and what happens by rigging them up this way is a lot of times you don't have to wait very long before you before you set the hook you know that rod tip dunks you don't have to count you don't have to wait you can pretty much just lift up on that rod and, and hook them right away and i'm just using a light action rod for dead sticking i like to use a light rod this here's a 28 inch meat stick rod and you see that light tip You'll just watch that tip, that tip will be working when that minnow gets a little frantic when a fish moves in, then that rod tip will just dunk down when you when a, when a walleye hits. You know, in places like Red Lake, Lake of the Woods, a lot of times, you know, you can just stick those minnows about, oh, four to six inches off the bottom. And usually that's about perfect. Usually they're right along the bottom. There they go. There. That fish is... Hit it with some ambition. Nice to see. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Look at that, big old head shakes. There, there's a nice walleye. You know, what makes Red Lake so neat for so many different anglers is you just you have an opportunity to catch a lot of fish. You know, and, and I, I meet so many people over the course of the year, whether it's at sports shows or people that send emails where they want to learn more about their electronics. They, they want to learn more about using a specific lure or whatever it is. You know, and, and the best teacher is just is just getting out and doing it. And, and what makes Red Lake pretty special for a lot of walleye anglers is that you have so many fish that roll through underneath you that, you know, if, if you don't have confidence in something, you can come out here and get confident because you're going to get a lot of opportunities. You're going to see a lot of fish. Get that fish in the water, but yeah, that's a great way to end the night. Jason Mitchell Outdoors is brought to you by Shields, North Dakota Tourism, Clam, Vexilar, Jason Mitchell Elite Series Rods, Ice Armor, Northland Tackle, Cooper Chevrolet, Bionic Line, and Salmo. To find out more information on Jason Mitchell Outdoors, make their official webpage one of your favorite pages. Find out upcoming show schedules and airtimes, along with past shows, article and product reviews at jasonmitchelloutdoors.com. Great information on the outdoors is just one click away.